Hey. Let's go villager hunting. So I don't know about you guys, but I do have to say that this video is definitely something and I really just, you know, spent seven hours of my day, like a full day, just of seven hours of this. And I gotta say, it's, it doesn't, it's not worth the time. <laughs> It's really not. To say that my island dream list is almost done, I am very excited because while I do enjoy villager hunting, it is not one of particularly the funnest thing to do. Ideally, I did have two people in mind at some point in the video. I actually got my first dreamy villager with not a lot of tickets. Oh, ew. <laughs> He's like protecting the bottle or something, gross. And I've wanted her for a while now and I think she's so gorgeous. I just, I love her noodle-like nose. It is, it's just so... I wanted villagers that kind of like fit the theme of my island like anyone else does, you know? Like you always want like villagers that fit your theme. And so I was thinking Annalisa obviously fit that theme very well and I like her design a lot and she was originally one villager that I really wanted on my island. And then yeah, I thought that was it. I was super happy and excited. I found my dreamy, but then I kind of chose violence. <laughs> For some reason, I just had like this blood-wrenching feeling to just like get rid of my last one because this is like, this was the final stretch, right? And I was just so excited to get to my last dreamy. That's right, wipe away your tears. And then it was time for my second villager hunt and I was feeling really hopeful because I found Annalisa pretty fast and I thought, you know, finding my next dreamy would be no problem. It would be super easy. I was feeling very hopeful, you know, as you do when you find someone very fast and then you go for your next time, but that wasn't the case at all. It definitely was was a series of events where I just ran around island to island hoping to find someone but I kept encountering sometimes the same villagers sometimes new ones and some that were just like dreamies it, it kind of was, was very, very depressing, depressing. <laughs> all I would do is do the same thing over and over again and accept the fact that I might never ever do this again for twin leaf and that's very very sad I was feeling hopeful because I wanted to find my dreamy and that's what I set out to do I was also watching videos as I was doing this because I could not for the life of me just focus my attention on this solely and I gotta say that really helped a lot I was definitely watching angry coconut and I don't know if it's past already but it was like the same same time we both found Octavian is that his name Octavian the red octopus at the same time I was just like I stood there with like the Pikachu face for like oh it was like such a shock but like it was a cool coincidence you know but yeah that's that that was probably the most exciting thing that happened <laughs> Honestly, not much else went on. As you can see, I'm just going island to island and hoping and praying that I will eventually find someone, but it's taking me forever and I keep finding the same kind of species and it's just, it was really putting me down and ugh, I just, ugh. I don't know how people do it. I honestly don't. It's so much. Like I used to do this a lot and yeah, I thought like finding, actually in the beginning when you're like doing your new islands and stuff, finding villagers over and over again is a lot easier I will say than like when you're just in the later stages but then I found miss her So I had Pico on my island before and I felt so guilty for getting rid of her because she was Greta's best friend and I could not believe I got rid of her because she is just a cutie and she fits so well with my island. I felt this, of course, I had to take her back. And then when I thought everything was over, I thought that I was finally done searching for all my dreamies on this island. I kicked Annalisa out. <laughs> and I know I was hyping her up and stuff in the beginning of this audio. I had someone else in mind and I already had two other normal villagers on my island and she was the third one. I kicked her out, booted her, and now I'm in the search for a particular chicken. <laughs> More specifically, Kin. And I was feeling really hopeful for him too because I found chickens and I knew the species would be circulating. So I was excited. I thought, you know, like, oh, I'm finding all these chickens. There must be like a chance for me to find him. As things were getting good, right? Like I was finding all these cute villagers and just like thinking like, oh, this is going so great. It kind of started going downhill from there. <laughs> Oh my god, 
I found her and oh my god, I can't believe I found her. <laughs> oh god, she's so pissed at me. <laughs> she won't even look at me, she like walked away. My luck started draining because I ran out of tickets. I had to go back and grab the last remaining ones that I had and at this point I was getting very nervous because I don't have any more Nook Mile tickets and I was not finding who I wanted and I just, I kept finding very bad villagers. Uh, I was shaking my boots. I kept finding the same species, but not the chicken kind. And like, I was scared, you know, like I wanted to find my dreamy and this was my last opportunity. But oh God, it just, it kept going. And uh, I just, I can't, I don't know how I dealt with it. I just kept finding lions. Ugh, it's, it's just, uh, it's awful. Honest to God, I just, I wanted to stop because I knew my luck was gone and I wasn't gonna find who I wanted to find, but I kept pushing because I just, I was in denial. Honestly, I was in denial at this point. I just wanted to find my last villager so I didn't have to do these videos ever again. Also, don't mind my cat. By the way, can I just say, now that I've like, I've come across so many already, gorillas are honest to god the ugliest villagers I've ever <laughs> laid my eyes on they are so ugly like ah oh, they're just like repulsive to look at also not to mention to add insult to injury al you know the green ugly monkey that everyone freaking hates on he has the same birthday as i do you know how that makes me feel everyone is always like saying oh i have judy as my uh twin or whatever out of curiosity when i first started playing i was like oh wow like i want my birthday twin or whatever and then obviously like i searched it up and it was freaking al like, oh, I'm just so insulted. Is it destiny or like, I just, ugh, I can't, I can't. And not to mention the amount of times I ran into apes in this freaking, ugh, can't. Double cheeked up, okay? In my face, rubbing in. They don't care. They don't care. And that's why I will forever hate the gorillas. Not only that, my last ticket was on a gorilla and... I was still in denial. I just, I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. So I time skipped. I had this like feeling, oh, maybe Ken is in my waiting line or whatever to move in. And that's what I thought. So I skipped forward without like thinking about it. Like I could just go to a treasure island. I could just get Nook Mile tickets very easily. But no, I decided to just time skip forward. And then I had Muffy. I had no idea who Muffy was, but you know what? Muffy's okay. She's pretty cool, I guess. And if that's what the villager that I'm gonna get for this freaking last villager hunt then whatever I don't care I'm gonna make another one of these and yeah hope to god that oh god okay I think that's enough for me thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video bye